around St. Louis tonight after a suspect in the deadly Ted Drew's hit and run case goes free. Yeah, the circuit attorney is not ready to file charges. Fox 2's Andy Banker is live with why this news is so hard to take for so many, Andy. Well, Shirley, Mandy, think of what's involved here. A teenager in high school hit and killed outside the landmark Custard Stand, Ted Drew's in South St. Louis, a suspect at large for about 10 days. Finally, relief yesterday with news of the suspect's arrest. But now this. Everyone needs some resolution to this. It's been hard on, on the whole neighborhood. Definitely, yeah, it's a shock to, to everyone. Joe Vollmer is the interim president of the St. Louis Board of Aldermen, longtime alderman for The Hill, and longtime friend of the family of the 17-year-old who was killed, CBC student Matthew Nikolai. A family with deep roots in this historic neighborhood, 11 days now after the tragedy, Vollmer says this news is one of the last things anyone wants to hear. Unfortunately, the poor young man was hit by two cars. The other folks stopped and stayed, but this other gentleman left. So there, there's at that point, there's a criminal element involved somehow, and I, I'd like to know the details. I'm sure the family would, and all in the, the, the whole neighborhood here. The vehicle has damage to the driver's side front. Last week, police released surveillance photos of the pickup truck they say hit Nikolai. They say the 25-year-old driver left the scene. Police confirm an auto shop worker reported the truck when the driver tried to get it repaired. Police say the driver was booked into jail after turning himself in yesterday. Police took the case to Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner's office, seeking felony charges of leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death and evidence tampering. The prosecutors have yet to file charges, instead taking the case under advisement. And the suspect was released earlier today. On a personal note, knowing these folks like I do, I'm hoping that the circuit attorney's office has done everything they are supposed to do, that things aren't just pushed off to the wayside. Uh, and we need all the, the I's dotted and the T's crossed, especially every time, especially this time. There's no comment from the circuit attorney's office other than to say this doesn't mean that there will never be charges, just not yet. And with a 77-year-old man also killed out on Chippewa near Ted Drew's back in May, there is new urgency for safety upgrades for pedestrians right out here in front of the landmark. Live in South St. Louis, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.